the grace that draws men the gift of men please everybody receive this one the gift of men so that you don't struggle for nothing there has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again in the name of Jesus may someone be interested in your matter may someone be interested in your rising may someone be interested in your shining may someone be interested in your restoration in the name of Jesus Christ everything by demonic orchestration that has tied everyone here who has come by the blood of the eternal covenant be released now be released now I set those altars on fire now on fire now on fire now Aparakos Ketebelekata on fire now now that you are born again I break the chain between you and ancestry the chain between you and idol worship the chain between you and superstition in the name of Jesus Christ break free from idol worship the Lord is setting people free you may not even know that this has tied your destiny down but the Lord sent you here tonight to experience liberty liberty indeed again I'm praying for someone every cord that has tied you to the yokes of ancestry the covenant of darkness and dark powers in the name of Jesus be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment everyone's name that is on any demonic altar Parakatos Kiata for your destruction, for chaos, and for anarchy. If the blood could blot out every handwriting, then I decree and declare every coven carrying your name, carrying your mission, carrying your destiny, let it be consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalate paratos kavrida meleke parantos sigetesh lekro sabira tu sabrenda baladus kiata. Good things never stay in your hands. It comes, but it leaves. It comes, but it leaves. Just when you are about to hold good news, something happens and it loses from your hand. I pray for you, whoever this person is, by this prophetic word, everything causing good things to slip out of your hands. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. No, as many who are here, who have been appointed to be the ones who will be used by God to wipe the tears of your family. May the mantle, may the mantle of a deliverer rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Male or female, rest upon you now. Everyone destined by God to be the instrument that God will lift to wipe the tears of your family. I prophesy to you, arise. Arise from the shadows and step into the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Step into the place of destiny. Step into the place of destiny. Because if you do not arise, many who are connected to you, especially by bloodline, may not be able to rise. And any embargo that is stopping you from rising, every door that has closed, 
that has closed over you so that you will not pass and so that your loved ones will not pass may that door open now 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 whoever is looking for a man to lift may they find you in the name of Jesus for those of you who are owing you are owing corporate debt personal debt ministry debt I decree and declare by the gift of men the ministry of helpers come out of that financial calamity now come out of that financial calamity now I bless the works of your hands go and prosper in business go and prosper in your career go and prosper in your investments in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare every careless decision depleting your finances careless financial decisions I decree and declare may the wisdom of God bail you out of such kind of lifestyle in the name of Jesus since you believe in financial testimonies I release it to your life this week I release it to your life this week I release it to your life in addition to your spiritual growth in addition to your prayer life in addition to your word study in addition to your loving Jesus in addition to your serving Jesus I declare go and prosper go and prosper with dignity and with honor in the name of Jesus for some of you you have been helped by God but the dimension you will experience this week let it be such that you have never seen before let it be such that you have never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare let something rest on your head from tonight hear me hear me favor is likened to light that shines upon the face of a man a glow that attracts help I'm praying for you whatever has covered you so that those who help you cannot identify that you are the one they were sent to I declare that veil is torn from off your face that veil is torn from off your destiny torn from off your face in the name of Jesus finally I pray for you in the name that is above all names hear me every assignment you have now before you that depends on finances wherever God has ordained for that money to come from I don't care if it's in millions or billions provided it is for your destiny and will ultimately lead to the glorification of the Christ I stand by prophecy I gravitate those resources to your life I gravitate those resources to your life I hope you believe it I gravitate those resources to your life for some of you while you are here in Nigeria foreigners God will connect you to men across the nations they will desire to help you of their own accord they will hold your hands and see to it that you are empowered also in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you the distraction that comes with prosperity I decree and declare it is exempted from your life the spiritual lukewarmness that befalls men in the presence of plenty may it be far from your life you will prosper still having your zeal for Jesus you will prosper still having your passion for Jesus you will prosper still prioritizing the kingdom you will prosper and your resources will be beneficial for the kingdom receive it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the cause of emptiness in your life financial emptiness in your life I pray for you by the God of grace and God of mercy this night by a prophetic word I declare enjoy supplies from today enjoy supplies from today enjoy supplies from today enjoy financial supplies from today may God raise strangers men you do not know 
and cause them to be interested in your rising. May God raise captains of industry and direct their interest to you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I forbid you from begging. I forbid you from begging. By the wisdom of the Spirit, I forbid you from begging. By the favor of God, I forbid you from begging. By the gift of man, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says that God is able to give us treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places where the eyes of men cannot see. May God show you gold in the midst of debris. May God show you gold in the midst of chaos. You will see things others don't see. You will capitalize on opportunities for your profiting. In the name of Jesus. But every attack on the works of your hands you will be mistaken to imagine that everybody is clapping for you when you should be receiving an upload. I pray for you. Anyone praying in the secret or in the open for your downfall so they rejoice. For you to go down in ministry, in business. I pray they will not only be disappointed, they will be the victims of their plot. Oh, may the curse of Haman come upon them. That the pit they dug for you, they fall into it. The Bible says, when Haman dug a pit, preparing to bury Mordecai that same night, the king could not sleep. Whoever needs to wake up by God, so that they will avert the destructions that have been plotted over your life, your business, your ministry, your family. By all means, may the Lord of peace raise them and bring them for your rescue. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names. Father, you have called this a miracle service. There are lives and destinies under all kinds of yokes. I decree and declare for everyone under the sound of my voice, every spirit that has oppressed you, every negative condition that is demonically engineered, as you shout that name, be free once and for all. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free now. Be released now. Outside, be released. All the overflows, be released. Inside, be released. The balconies, be released. Connecting online, be released in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. By the power of the Holy Spirit, bring them out. In the name of Jesus, oppressions of wickedness, be set free right now. Yokes, causes, ancestry, orchestrations of delay, orchestrations of retrogression. Be set free now for that gentleman, for that sister, that daughter of Abraham. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. I'm praying for them. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you have been kept in one location, in one place. Nothing moves in your life. Nothing grows in your life. Nothing changes in your life. Today as you encounter this anointing, I pray for you. May God move you forward. May God move you forward in a fearful dimension may god move you forward move you forward move your children forward move your family forward in the name of jesus hallelujah the lord is speaking to me and it's ministering to me that some of you came here so that you will be found of God. God wants to raise people in your family 
that becomes an access point for him and that there are many of you he brought here and there is an anointing this one is not deliverance this one is an impartation god wants to locate you by an anointing to show you that he has put upon you the mantle of a savior over your family i don't know where you are but in the name of jesus as you hear me i decree and declare let that oil locate you let that grace locate you ordained to be the savior of your family still bring them out in the name of jesus i decree receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation some of you will be the first to bail your family financially some of you will be the first to introduce jesus to your family some of you will be the first to help your your loved ones to rise beyond a certain level anyone called into that ministry i place grace on your life now i place grace on your life now Ah, someone is saying, Lord, here am I, send me, send me, send me. I'm still praying for you again. You came to contact grace. You may be the, the weakest. You may be a male, a female, it doesn't matter. I pray for you one more time. An anointing from heaven. Let it land on your head right now. Let it rest on your destiny right now. I'm hearing in my spirit that rejected stone. That rejected stone. I don't know what has made you rejected. Maybe in your family, maybe in your destiny, maybe among your contemporaries. Let me prophesy upon you. That rejected stone. Let an anointing rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now for an extraordinary destiny. Let it rest upon you now. Open your mouth and shout, say, Father. Say it again, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I take my place in life and destiny. Open your mouth and pray. I take my place. The place ordained for me. The place commissioned for me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. I may be ordinary, but there is an ordination upon my life. I may be ordinary, but there is a grace on my destiny. And in this season, I decree and declare that I walk in the reality of my call. I walk in the reality of my assignment. The reality of my call. The reality of my assignment. In the name of Jesus, for all those in front here, I decree and declare every oppression of darkness over your life. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant, it gives way now. It gives way now. Every legal access Satan has over your life, I declare that access broken now. All the men, whether you call them business partners, or destiny help us or announce us or whatever it is in whatever capacity I gravitate them towards your life I gravitate help us towards your life I gravitate the wealthy towards your life help us of the war may they find you may they bless you may they find you may they bless you may they find you may they bless you may god use them to lift you may god use them to announce you i say it again may god use them to bless you may god use them to announce you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you in the name of jesus may the god of sudden visitations the one who can give you a consolation for your sacrifice may he visit you tonight 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 not tomorrow help that lady tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ you hear me i pray for our online family all those connecting from diaspora 
the thousands of people and potentially millions whether you are watching by way of a rebroadcast you are following live by television or by internet i speak over your life receive it by faith wherever you are may the lord turn your life around may the lord change your story may you know him more may your christian experience carry results in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you again i'm praying for you if there is any covenant that connects you to the grave using sicknesses using accidents using plane crashes using kidnaps i decree and declare be released now be released now thank you jesus the lord is giving me one instruction please stretch your hands towards me the lord is saying i should speak over your hands your hand is a symbol of your productivity every good thing is received with the hands not the feet when i give you something you receive it with your hand no matter how heavy it is you will try even if someone assists you still with the hand i pray for you as god has instructed that you stretch it towards me if there is anything on your hand that is a cost to your blessings that does not allow in the name of Jesus every chain holding your hand so that you cannot receive the reward God has for you I break that chain now I break I break that chain now every blessing my god has released may it enter your hand 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 and that of your children and that of your spouse and that of your family members in the name of jesus no as many who are here who have been appointed to be the ones who will be used by God to wipe the tears of your family. May the mantle May the mantle of a deliverer rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Male or female, rest upon you now. Everyone destined by God to be the instrument that God will lift to wipe the tears of your family. I prophesy to you, arise. Arise from the shadows and step into the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Step into the place of destiny. Step into the place of destiny. Because if you do not arise, many who are connected to you, especially by bloodline, may not be able to rise. And any embargo that is stopping you from rising, every door that has closed, that has closed over you, so that you will not pass, and so that your loved ones will not pass, may that door open now. 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 Stretch my hands again, Koinonia. In the name that is above all names, I call upon the lifter, the helper, the blesser, the one who exalts men. In the name of Jesus, every wrong audience, you have been wasting your time, your energy, your productivity at by the message of God and by prophecy, I relocate you to the right ones. The right business audience. The right ministerial audience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every gift you carry that has not been rewarded, every gift you carry that is being downplayed, demeaned by people who do not know your value, I'm praying for you again. May God bring people who know your worth, bring people who know your value, and connect you to them by faith.
Do you believe this prayer? One day someone will come close to you, maybe in a restaurant, and you hear the person saying, I just came from America and we're looking for who to partner with. We need an honest engineer and this is just you eating. You will remember the prayer I just prayed now because you will reach out to the man and say, sorry, I heard you say you need a construction engineer. I said, yes, we have a project of 50 million US dollars and we're looking for someone who is of honest report. And you say, well, I'm available. He says, I don't know why I just trust you. And that becomes it. Your life just changes overnight. May your life change. May my God surprise you. In the presence of mockers, God will lift you. In the presence of naysayers, God will surprise you. And surprise them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hear me. Everything that has tied you. That came from your physical paternity. Limitations that came from your biological father. Biological mother. Or your physical territory. I stand by the honor and the privilege. Of the apostolic and the prophetic. I break you from it now. Help them please. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. Let me prophesy recovery. You have lost money. You have lost friends. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You mishandled favorable opportunities and it slipped your hand. Is there hope for a tree even if it be cut short? The Bible says at the scent of water. I want to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, I have been commanded to bless. Therefore, I decree and declare everything that has left your life and is not by divine orchestration I call it back now. Finances be restored. Relationships be restored. Spiritual fire be restored. In the name of Jesus. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and he's saying, remove the mark of disfavor. There are many, physically there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a mark of disfavor around you. That even when you go where you should be blessed, it looks like you are despised. I don't know who I'm praying for, but fire is coming on someone now. In the name of Apakatos Katapata, every mark of disfavor at the count of three, that mark must let you go now. One, two, three. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Career disfavor. Marital disfavor. Financial disfavor. Be removed from your life. Abracatoshka leberado da koto parato siata, kafrenda vasa se ketepa le koto siata. Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you the truth. Look up, please. This favor is a very terrible thing. When a man does not carry the favor of God in his life, you are not going to be able to make progress. The number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people it should not be so. No. 
your life can be indefinitely tied down nobody thinking about you to help you nobody calling for your help i say it again what is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you by the power of the holy ghost i clear it out of your life right now i clear it out of your life right now I clear it out of your destiny right now. I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website, at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.